but the last Goombay that I went to was actually with Brad and Karen. The two of them kind of bounced to the same beat. He just had a different glow about him uh, whenever he was with her, and you, you could just sense that they both had that energy off of each other, and they, they truly loved each other. They're amazingly good people, and they always had smiles on their faces, and so when they found each other, it just was like, you know, this exponential explosion that you got with the two of them together. So I got the news that Karen got cancer um, from Brad. You just paused. Um, you know, your heart kind of sunk a little bit. I, for one, didn't know what to say or how to react to it. Um, I think everybody tried to be as positive as possible. My friends that have had cancer that have gone in the hospital and uh, done chemo, and I've always got them a pair of fun socks because I knew that they'd be looking at their feet a lot. And so I, I, that, was, that was my first conversation with her. It wasn't about her being sick. It was about how we were gonna fight this. Okay, she's really young, she's really healthy. She's gonna have to go through this lousy year, but she'll be okay. I mean, that was definitely how we all went into it. And if anybody can kick this, Karen can kick this. And she was always positive. She was never negative. It's, it was never woe is me. And yeah, when you have kids, it's a whole, that's a whole new ball game. And, and especially a, a little girl like Alice. So I, I know she fought hard for Alice. She was not going to give up. They had Alice um, at this point, and she's a complete spitting image of, of Karen. Tell me about Alice. Um, she's a very special little girl. She embodies everything, Karen. <laughs> One of the last things she sent me was a video of her in the front seat and Alice in the back seat singing Roar by Katy Perry. The first couple of times that I saw the video, I was so focused on Alice singing Roar, but then Later on, I really noticed Karen and how she was looking at Alice. And um, one day I'm gonna show Alice that video because it just shows you like the depth of love. Like there's, there's, it's so unmistakable how much she absolutely adored that child. And it wasn't until Brad called me, I, honestly, I can't even remember the day, but he called me and it was hard to even make out what he was saying because he had just gotten the news that it's time to, it's time to stop fighting this fight. Mm. That was a really hard phone call. Karen is one of my closest friends. And I was I was terrified of losing her. It just everything just stopped uh, for me to really soak it in and, and hear what was happening and how she wasn't gonna be able to fight this anymore. We had planned to come to Goombe as the celebration of her beating this. Since she passed away, we've all been mourning and we've been kind of quiet, but now we will kind of want to shout Karen's legacy and her name and do something really positive. The work that the H Foundation does towards trying to find a cure, I mean, I was a six-year-old that was terrified of cancer more than most things in life. It would be incredible. If, if the little people growing up didn't have to be afraid of something like this. And it's time that we put an end to it and really get out and everyone do what we can to help cure this horrible, horrible disease. I sent Karen a letter at the end and I would say to her, I said to her, you know, I, I can't believe you're not going to be here, but I'm going I'm to talk to you anyway. And I do. And I feel that. I feel like she's telling me what I have to do. And I'll do whatever I have to, and I, I just hope it works. One of the firm beliefs I have in life is that 
there's nothing more powerful than the moment of now. You know, we can't change the past. And so while sometimes it's okay to take a moment and be sad or to reminisce, and certainly to laugh and to be happy about things that have happened, they've happened and there's no control over that. And we also don't have the ability to predict the future. The only thing we have any somewhat control over is, is right now. And we have the ability to, to react and act. And that's our power, is to react and act. And so, while we can't bring Karen back, we can't predict who, are, who we're gonna lose tomorrow. But what's really important is what you do in this moment. And if I can do something in this moment, that's gonna be positive for the world or positive for someone's health or well-being or towards a cure for something that I'm terrified of, then I'm gonna do that because it's the only thing in this moment that I have control over.